are looking at what I call. When he feels as if God is not listening. When he feels as if God is not listening. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you for this Eternal King of Glory, we bless and magnify your holy name. Thank you for your presence in this place. Thank you for your word that was sent to us today. We pray that as we go into your word, that your presence will be with us. Father, to speak to my vocal cords, speak to my mind. Let it be all of you and all of me. Let it be all of you and all of me. For we are praying in Jesus' name. Please be seated. Wow. All of us here this morning. Or should I say most of us? At one point in time, we find ourselves dealing with the topic of this morning. And we are asking ourselves, is God really listening? Sometimes we find ourselves in difficult situations. And we are crying to God day and night. But rather than getting better, it keeps getting worse. And then we ask ourselves, is God really listening? Some of us, the prophecy concerning our life, years back, looking at our life today, is opposite those prophecies. This is not what I was promised by God. The Lord did not tell me my life would be like this. He didn't say, I will have all these challenges. And we, we've been praying. But rather than getting better, it keeps getting worse. Some of us are facing impossible situations. Feels impossible. We are prayed. We are prayed. We are praying. We are praying. Are you following me this morning? Number one, one thing I want to let you know this morning. That roadblock in front of you may not disappear with one prayer. Amen. Even Jesus, when he healed the blind man, he touched him the first time. He said, Can you see? Can you see? What do you declare? He said, It requires another second touch. Are you following me this morning? Like I said, sometimes my son comes to me and says, Daddy, I want this. And I said, I've had. But it may not be enough. Because the time will come again. In another two days. Daddy, this time it will not be that a request. It will be a reminder. And if 
After a week, he's still not done. He will come again. In another form of reminder. Daddy, I hope you have not forgotten. Are you following me this morning? The one thing we are sure of, beloved. Even when it seems as if God is not listening to us, or did not hear what we asked or what we said, because we have not seen manifestation. I want you to know one thing for sure. Please hold this on on in your left hand. God is not hiding from you. God Alone is not hiding from you. Man may hide from you. Is he coming again? Is he coming again? Let me go and hide. But God is not hiding from you. That's one thing I want you to hold on to this. Oh, God, my God, I do. I don't know. I also want you to know, beloved. My God, I am all of it. There is no word that comes out of your mouth. We could see or not to tell no regarding that God did not hear. To your Lord, oh God. Whether he approves of it or, or he doesn't approve of it, or, 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 every statement you make, yes. 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 On the righteousness Lori, of the prayer. Oh, do, 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 but yes. His response is, will be based on your relationship with him personally. But yes. Listen to me carefully. Let us look at the story I gave you this morning. The pretenders in church. Who hears the word? Who will not walk with it? But pretend that they walk no, with it. The Bible says, God can never be pleased with such people. Because they have wasted the time of his servant. Wasted God's time by teaching them. By teaching them. Are you following me? He says they will end up in hellfire. Now, if the church today is filled with 90% of this kind of people, and this 90% are making requests to God, God will hear. But his response will be opposite. And this 90% will now say, Is God actually listening to me? Did God even hear me? God is not answering prayers. Are you following me this morning? If you are hearing me, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, the devil has robbed the church, children of God of God's blessing through lies and deceit. Did God really say that we should not did God say should not eat of any fruit? Don't mind God, though. He deceived Adam and Eve. The
After that disobedience, by listening to Satan, Adam, the Adam walked free before God. I said, God, give me this. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, even if he did with God and son, no. And because he has taken the word of the enemy above his word. Are you following me this morning? More and more. Satan is recruiting more children of God in the house of God through lies and deceit. Don't pay attention to what the sons of God is saying. He doesn't want you to enjoy life. And then after you have listened and made up your mind that they are right, then the same servant of God, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, gave prayer points at the end of the service. And you open your mouth and pray. God will hear. But you will not pay attention to Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. Am I right or wrong? You're right, sir. This is common sense. Put yourself in the position of God. When Jesus, when Jesus said, a father has two sons, he was telling, he was trying to put a father in the position of God. Over Imagine my like father. And you have two sons. Sometimes we need to put ourselves in the position of God to let us know how God feels about the things we do. Let me tell you something. We've been in the pitfalls of blaming, 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 blaming one person or the other person of our life. To the point that even we blame God. Is God listening? Did he even hear what I said? Are we together? Listen carefully. Ah. A word for the righteous this morning. Those who are struggling to walk in obedience to I want to want to the ones that God actually sent me to this morning. But I cannot help but talk about the disobedient ones as well. To help them. So that they can know what they need to do. But for the righteous this morning, we have made requests to God. The Lord says, I should tell you. You may not like the hard circumstances that you are talking right now. Because you have been praying. But you are still stuck in that hard circumstances. You may not like it. He said, but don't ever make mistakes. That he did not hear your prayer. He says, I should tell you this morning that you have hope. Hallelujah. 
He says, I should tell you, you have hope for a better tomorrow. He says, I should tell you that your tomorrow shall be glorious. Amen. He says, I should tell you a day will come where there will be no more tears. Amen. A day will come where there will be no more sorrow. A day will come where there will be no more disappointment. A day will come where there will be no more failure. A day will come where poverty will be a thing of the past. It says a day will come where you will when you will celebrate. If you are hearing me, shout hallelujah. For the righteous. For our own Lord, do. It's possible that even in this church, the pretenders may be telling you, you who have been following Pastor and listening to the word. What has happened in your life? What has happened in your life? See you now. Oh, Rirai Bai. What has changed? Because you've been stuck in one position for a while. And they are using it to judge. Your, they are using that to speak to you. See, see your life. Oh, look at us, we. Oh, Wara Wabai. At least. We are enjoying our life. You, you can tell me nothing. Oh, Rebo, you go see how come? The Lord says, I should tell you. Lord, I need to when you be. Reply them. For all they see that I have hope. You pray more. She need it. Let them know. Let them know that your tomorrow shall be glorious. Your joy, Lord, and your logo. I'm telling you, beloved. So for all the fair. Very soon. Like where your joy. The righteous will shout. Oh, Lord, do you care? Hallelujah. The last laugh is always reserved for the righteous. Meaning, at the beginning, the righteous will not be laughing. But by the end, the righteous will be the one laughing. Do you know how many times Benina tormented Hannah? Do you know how many times Benina tormented Hannah? And even how Elkanah will give Hannah double portion of the Elkanah offering. And Penelah, my brother, I've said it's all your offering. What has happened? Praise, Praise your God. Praise your God. But by the time it was time for Hannah to laugh. Mama, to talk of Hannah, that's your name. Previously, before that time, Anna was stuck in a position for several years. The same position. Until one day. The Lord God Almighty decided to turn this blood around. And suddenly, Lord the Lord enlarged her mouth over all her Lord enemies. Stand up on your feet this morning. Lift up your hands to God this morning. And say, my Father, my God. Today, today, Who says it is over for me? In the mighty name of Jesus. One day, Lord. One day, Lord. One day, not too far. Please enlarge my mouth. Over all my enemies. Who are saying it is over for me? Who are laughing at me today? One day, Lord. One day, Lord. Please enlarge my mouth. Over all my enemies. Who are saying it is over for me?
In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Sit down. Revelations 21.4 If you already care, say says he will wipe every tear from their eyes. There won't be any more death. There won't be any more grief. There will be no more crying. There will be no more pain. Because the first things have disappeared. I was talking to a mother the other day. And she was telling me concerning her children. That she was at that one of her children. And she said, Oh, I'm going through pain. I'm going through pain. I'm feeling the pain about the situation of your life. That things are not the way it's supposed to be. It's painful. It's discomforting for me that you have been at standstill for a while. People are beginning to use you. Your situation. People My enemies are using it to mock that me. That is my me. But leave me. My family. Leave me in the hands of God. Family, alone, 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 alone. I will endure the pain. More for that, I will hold on. More, more, you know me. And I will see what God will do. Because I know that my Redeemer lives. I know that my Redeemer If you are hearing me, hallelujah. So that mother, the Almighty God will not fail. Her. My God will not fail. Her. One day, I just one day, the Lord will enlarge my mouth over all my enemies. If you are hearing me, hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah! It's a short sermon, but very deep. I'm quite encouraging for the righteous. I want to round up by telling a story. And it's a story you all know very well. The story of Joseph. 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 At the right time, God revealed what his destiny was all about to him. Yeah, put to to all on feet. Yeah, you mind that little bit of you, huh? And soon after that, get to lay it down. Problem started. It should be better than you read. And everything that happened to him, oh, but those who are shallow, was contrary to the blueprint of the destiny. Oh, shallow, you see, I come on now. I'm not your lover, huh? He tried to kill him. He ended up selling him to slavery. In slavery, he made the favor of God. But then he got into trouble again. Because there was a woman who was after him. Only pare wanted him to sin against the people. They share so your love. What did he say? What after the week? Rather than sin, they go home with their share against the Almighty God. So your love, Lord, you marry. Rather than doing things that will make God 
angry with me. He in order to solve this problem, I did this pain to remove this pain. He says he will endure more. What for I don't know who I'm talking about. This oh, I don't know who I'm talking to. This oh, I don't know who I'm talking to. This he said he will end here. And what happened? It got worse. It got worse. It got worse. And he was sent to prison. Accused of sin. And this brings you to a point. You know, in that same Matthew 21, no the story before the story will read was about how the elders. The Pharisees make up their mind to look for something against Jesus to kill him. Find the problem. But they couldn't. And the even though they didn't like what he was saying, they find it difficult to arrest him. You know why? Because they were afraid of the people who believed in him. And what they said was, you are the Christ. You are the Messiah. You are the Lord of the world. But the same Pharisee, after a while, they ignored the fear of the people who were afraid of the people. They see arrested him. I told the campus yesterday. When we were young, the reason why we don't do certain things was because our parents will deal with us. Fear them. But as we grew up, and we become man, graduated from school, and the salary, the fear we have of them started with And that's why you find a child that when he was growing up, as a teenager, can never remove, bring cigarettes and smoke. Or drink. 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 Or because he has matured. He has overcome that fear. Are you following me this morning? What I'm trying to say, beloved, is this. At the point in time, we will overcome the fear of man. Many of you, when you first came to this ministry, if the pastor is calling you, what have I done? But over the years, as you become familiar, and when you see each other, when you hear the pastor is coming, okay, tell him I'm coming. But you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm holding to God. If you can see God first, that's why God refused to be familiar with God. Am I making sense to you? Now, where am I going? 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 Not doing certain things because of fear of man. 
but because of fear of God. Ah, but we can't match him to live a rule alone. I'm telling you, one of the ways you can quickly get your prayers answered. Ah, phone on the W. Don't see a dura regba. I was giving an example to them yesterday. Of money, I put a collar now. I'm a woman. Over in the mojay. And these are my three sisters. I'm on the other. I haven't met anyone yet. They are friends. I do, eh? She's in the world. One, are ye? She's in the world. One, are ye? She's also in the world. No, one, are ye? I'm the one that came to be a Christian. Many more of your Christian Larry. Are you for me? From time to time, oh, when I say the word, I mean their yeah, Christianity is not like my own. Yeah, yeah, they are, they are they are they are Christians, but you know, they still engage in all manner of they don't believe, they don't say anything wrong in wearing certain things, drinking wine, doing this, doing that. Just they don't say anything wrong in it. But my own faith my God, what it, from what I hear, but you walk off by a Now they also come from homes whereby. They can get everything. Out of it. But my own home, maybe I'm not able to do so. I see a level of fear. But my own home, maybe I'm not able to do so. But my own home, maybe I'm not able to do so. But my own home, maybe I'm not able to do so. This is very common among men. Ah, I got one girl. She's that 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 girl. I went, I took out the Me. Me. I didn't I didn't do anything. Oh, she so I didn't have anything. Not so. But as they are saying it, I was laughing. I'm already on the moment. Eh? Eh? You get it. And you're more you shall try you. And she said, ah. You get it, sir. You know what I'm doing? I am feeding my fantasy. One boy, if I know coming, two days to me, but I said, don't answer, you know. For one reason or the other, where you can be, because, because of my parents, because of my pastor, because of the way people see me, I am feeding my fantasy. One boy, if I know coming, two days to me, but I said, don't answer, you know. I can't do it. You're the shitty one, she. But I'm enjoying it. That means if no eyes is looking at me, if you fear all those who are not mentioned, I know that they are. I will do it. If you know all those who are not mentioned, I know that they are. I will do it. If you know all those who are not mentioned, I know that they are. I will do it. If you know all those who are not mentioned, I know that they are. I will do it. If you know all those who are not mentioned, I know that they are. I will do it. If you know all those who are not mentioned, I know that they are. I will do it. If you know all those who are God took make David from his, from his father's house to a straight land where there is no father, no mother. Nobody will know what he's, he's doing. doing. The fathers, the last one that they had of him was that my son is holy, my son is better than his brothers. He doesn't do anything bad. But the father is no longer there. The brothers are no longer there. To see what he has become. Yet David said, "Because of God, if I had been a man, I would not have been a man. Or 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 I would not have been a man. His master, but because of people share to your law. What I'm trying to say now is that many of us have got to this age now. Our eyes are not looking at the world. 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 Because of God. That is the only thing that can keep us righteous at all times. Because God is everywhere. From time to time, Satan will set us up. 
Many of you, if we throw you to certain foreign lands, we are nobody in Canada will see you. We are nobody will know what you are doing. Within a week, we won't recognize you again. Am I making sense to you? If you are hearing me, shout hallelujah this morning. Hallelujah. Prayers. All this while God has been working behind the scene, orchestrating all your movements like he was in the life of Joseph. He was orchestrating every movement, he was following every step. He knew about what that was happening to him, he agreed with it because it was leading him to the greatness. But just at the point when it was about to hit the greatness. Was tempted to see that if he had the fear of God. We are all neighbor, we are all on Joseph said, Joseph, we pray, How can I do this? A mutual wallet, she will lay ye. He gives my master. See, Ulua, me. He had the fear of God. And let's even put that to aside. How can I do this? Against God. See, Allah. Let's about the small you are it is possible that the devil will bring you to a job. Oh, should you get to go more deal become and you need to ask yourself that how to bear any bearing with me? What will my pastor say? If he finds me doing this, how will God feel? If I do this, how will God feel? Are you following me this morning? For those of you who have become very familiar with your pastor, if that fear should not stop you, the fear of God ought to stop you. Are you following me this morning? Because what you need to know is your breakthrough is just blind the corner. Two years later, after this encounter, see how many years he spent with slavery. Now, when it was time to get to the devil, finally, two years to the time, time it was when the devil launched the greatest attack. He used a beautiful woman who promised him everything. He said, no. he said no. and then one day what the joke on in that same prison you know to book on now two years later he woke up as a prisoner don't make you the leg of the other one wow by evening by afternoon, he was a prime minister. He was a prime minister. A man was accused of being a man who happened to be a foreigner in the foreign land, holding the second best position in Egypt. Did God not listen to him? 
Si Olorun o te ti gba ton wi bi Was God really not really hearing Si Olorun o gba adura e ni to to bi He had it Olorun gbo even though he was talking in person for a long time Pe o ha si oju kan fun igba pe pe God had it Mo Olorun gbo Joseph held on to hope Joseph o di re ti re bu that one day e pe lojo kan o Things will turn around. Oh, you bad ass! That that for me. For the right to say this. For Lord, the two one, the pillar, oh, ye. Hold on to him. The other, the two more, she she. God is hearing you. Allah, I'm born red. He will enlarge your mouth. You are more care no rebel. Poor, Lordy, I'm what I re. One day you will shout victory at last. Lord, I can always say, "Kde de is shagoni kanyi." And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Ben, you see, you look all like Jesus. This is where we end this. Bye, now you don't know. Now you.